The head of Iran's atomic energy organization says it has drawn up plans to restore its nuclear production to its state before its nuclear deal with the West if the United States and other Western powers continue to block banking transactions. Iran reached the deal in July last year with China, France, Germany, Russia, the United Kingdom and the United States. The United States only agreed to the deal on paper, but never planned to do anything about it. Officials have accused the U.S. of not abiding by the deal and pursuing hostile policies toward the Islamic Republic. They destroy the trust of Iranian people and the government. America should be building trust. If the current situation continues, we will never trust the United States. Iran has urged the United States to make good on sanctions relief and to encourage commercial deals. European banks, some of which have been punished for breaking sanctions imposed on Iran, have shown reluctance to resume trade ties. And conservatives in Iran who oppose the nuclear deal have criticized President Rouhani for not producing results. With the 2017 presidential election approaching, the political stakes are high for Rouhani. The nuclear deal would play a very significant part in next year Iranian election. Uh, Rouhani or whoever becomes the, the reformist uh, moderate uh, uh, candidate, he would maintain very strongly that we must keep the deal alive. Hardliners would say that, oh, the deal is not working, Rouhani told lie, United States is the enemy, etc. So whether we, whether we like it or not, whether we want it or not, the nuclear deal would play a major role in the coming presidential election. Tang Meng, CCTV.